Hey guys, uh, today we will look at how to solder the XT60 connector, which is the connector that uh, I used on a lot of the smaller batteries from Hobby King. Uh, the first thing to notice is, I um, hope you can see it on the video, uh, the minus or the negative and the positive are marked, so please remember to put them in correctly. Um, the thing is, it's actually a lot like soldering uh, bullet connectors. The only thing you should be aware of is um, the wire that you need to put into the uh, the plug, if you see it like this, uh, here. It should um, go in directly, there's something wrong with this wire, but um, as you can see, it shouldn't be like this, uh, because then you'll have some exposed wire on the side. So make sure that you pre tin the wire and the length um, is the right one so it actually goes into uh, the cup of the connector. Uh, otherwise, fill the cup about half and do like um, uh, the bullet connectors. The other things to be aware of um, is the shrink tube. Um, the thing is, there's actually a little uh, incline in the connector. So make sure that you use a, connect, uh, a swing tube that will actually go into this. That makes a lot uh, much more strong connection. Um, what I will do now is I will uh, fill these up and uh, I will show you how that looks. Uh, just remember to put, uh, put on the swing tube before you put on the connector. Um, but I will show you in a little while how it looks. So simply just heat up it like on the bullet connector. Um, Make sure you don't heat it too much because uh, if the connector gets too warm, it might melt um, uh, some of the plastic on the uh, connector. But about half. I'm lazy, so it's still connected on the helicopter. Like that. And I always wait for it to cool down because before I try to put the shrink tube on because otherwise it might um, actually be heated here and be impossible to push the last 5-10 uh, millimeters. So when it's cooled down, uh, as I just put my finger on it and didn't scream in pain, uh, it's probably cooled down now. Um, and simply. Push the connector, the ring tubes down into the, the cup. Uh, it will look like this, and then just simply uh, heat it up. I would always, you know, just for the aesthetics, uh, choose a string tube uh, with the right color, so uh, red here and black here. But as I've told in the other videos, I'm running low on string tube. I ordered some, and it should be here soon. But um, this is basically how it's done, um, very, very easily. Um, so, hope you enjoyed this little video.